everyone, it's Alessandra. Hi, and I'm Gabriella, and we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day today. <laughs> we have Irish soda bread. Yes, looking forward to it. And a lemon lime soda, because that's actually like a really popular flavor for soda in Ireland. It's, you know, the UK. They like a lot of soda and squash and things. Absolutely, which is another citrus drink. So, um, St. Patrick was actually not born in Ireland. He was British. But when he, yes, I know. <laughs> but when he was 16, he was abducted by Irish people and became a slave, and then six years later managed to escape. But after reuniting with his family, that's my sister. Yeah, okay. And having a wonderful, like, time getting to know everyone again, he just felt like a voice in his head, like something calling him to go back to Ireland and spread the word of Christianity. And we celebrate St. Patrick here in the U.S. because we have a lot of Irish people, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we did our history, we're just going to eat and discuss memories and things we love about St. Patrick's Day. Oh, um, fun days in school, I kind of remember. What was something you used to do in school for St. Patrick's Day? Um, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. We did, like, coloring activities, I think, or, like, uh, you know, we'd eat, like, uh, silly food, get those gold coin things that are really for Jewish people, but, you know, um, you know that Jewish holiday where you get the coins? The guild? The, uh, money, the yeah. chocolate coins? Like, you know, it also doubles as, a uh, St. Patrick's Day, a gold, pot, pots of gold. Yes, because the, because, um, <laughs> there's that thing about, um... They said that in Ireland, before humans came to Ireland, there were just um, leprechauns. And leprechauns are supposed to be rumored to have a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, so that's where that comes from. Mm -hmm. oh, this is really good. But I remember doing, you know, little coloring activities in school, and lots of leprechauns. Yeah, they didn't really... Green. They didn't really discuss anything about the religious parts of St. Patrick's Day, which in a way is like... Kind of a disappointment, but also good because then other people can enjoy celebrating and just like know that St. Patrick was just a really nice guy. Okay, so this is a uh, clotted cream, but we're vegan, so really it's just pureed cashews. It looks good though. It's really tasty. Cashews are delicious. Mm. <laughs> oh, well, that's the fun part of uh, about bread. How wonderful it is. And spreading stuff on it. Mm-hmm. And how crummy it is. Mm -hmm. That was a joke. Just got a vacuum afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like eating bread at a restaurant. That's embarrassing. Oh, and speaking of restaurants, let's go to food. Um, do you have any particular uh, Irish food that you like uh, eating or making on a St. Patrick's Day? I like shepherd's pie, but I use lentils. Oh, yeah. Traditionally, it's lamb. Most people in the U.S. use beef, but I use lentils. Ooh, I like using um, Beyond Meat, uh, beef now to uh, make shepherd's pie sometimes. And um, I also like, um, what is it, uh, Cole Cannon? It's, uh, you know, the spinach and potato or kale and potato. What's that? Like, how do you make it? Oh, um, you make mashed potatoes and then you add spinach or kale. You kind of boil it together and mash it. So is it like the soup or more like a mashed potato? More like a mashed potato. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Both our dish has have mashed potato. This is really good as the cream. Thank you. So, um, I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. So, the shepherd's pie is mashed potatoes with... It's supposed to be just, like, root and seasonal vegetables on the bottom. But, of course, we just use frozen vegetables from the grocery store. Normally, like, peas, carrots, onions... Mint is pretty big in Irish cooking, but I don't really mm -hmm. think people put mint in a shep in, uh, shepherd's pie. <laughs> but delicious. the potato, yeah, but the potato crust is mandatory. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I also remember? Having to, uh, I, uh, for uh, St. Patrick's Day, like the week before or after or something, we'd have to do the um, parade because of Irish step. We did soft shoe Irish step dancing for years, so... Yeah, we, um, it was fun. It was a nice activity, and you get to hear all the, the nice bagpipes and the seven counts, and, like, you do the rounds, and the, and the jig. Yeah. It was really fun. 
We would put duct tape on the bottom of our shoes. Mm -hmm. They would make us to um, make sure they didn't get scratched. Because dance shoes, you're not really supposed to wear on the street. Mm -mm. They tried to just put cardboard throughout the whole parade. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Too much recycling. Too hard if you uh, recycle if you put like two miles of a. It was the two. Was it one mile? How the parade wasn't too long, was it? I don't remember. It. I, don't I have no idea. I don't think it was too much. The St. Patrick's Day parade. Our little Irish step. Um, we didn't get like the uh, dresses. We ha would wear the uh, white shirts with the uh, pleated skirts. Mm -hmm. And the bubble socks. Oh, right, bubble socks. Our shoes were leather, but they make non-leather ones you could buy. We weren't vegan yet, so. Mm -hmm. We were children. We didn't know any better. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it was very fun. Oh, lemon and lime soda. Definitely a new St. Patrick's Day tradition. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're not a fan of making your own mint uh, drinks. Yeah, a lot of the St. Patrick's Day drinks, like, you need mint. There's no good mint, really, in winter. Yeah. At least not here. Who has time for that? If you find one, there's one with apple juice, seltzer water, and mint. That does sound good. Yeah, it's apple juice, seltzer water... Mint and blue was it blueberries too? Or was that a different one? You know, there was one with blueberries, I remember, but that with or without blueberries, that might be nice. Do you have any uh rem what do you like to do on St. Patrick's Day usually? I um go on YouTube and see what documentaries they have about St. Patrick's. That's better than some people. That sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Learning is always fun. I do a lot of praying since I am Christian. Hmm. But, um, like, well, we're having brunch with one of our friends. I do like brunch. I love brunch. It's a little, like, in the morning you're a little bit hungry. But then when lunch comes around you're already full so you don't have to waste time eating lunch. Because you <laughs> eat, like, both at the same time. <laughs> well, maybe a light snack, but... I've eaten so much soda bread. I know. I'm having like, um, so far, I'm about to have the eighth of it. Oh, yeah. I put raisins and uh, caraway seeds. And I use spalted wheat flour instead of regular wheat flour because it has um, a weaker, like, less potent gluten. And I don't really have a problem digesting gluten, but she does. Mm hmm. If you're um, very sensitive, then you can't eat spelt flour. But if you're just a little bit sensitive, then it's like a good, it's good for like gluten allergies then. But you know, do research and have your parents help you do the research. Don't just, if yeah. you have a gluten allergy, <laughs> don't just start eating spelt flour. Right? Mm, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> well, you should never eat raw flour. Well, no, but raw flour is not yummy. But this bread is. It's like, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> It's just hard to digest raw flour. This bread was cooked for an hour though, so it's really good. <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. I remember um, all the four leaf clovers but apparently in Ireland, they don't use four-leaf clovers because they're, like, not really aff affiliated with them. Mm. They use the three-leaf. Oh, interesting. Like so the shamrock, it's called the three-week. Okay, so that's more something associated with American uh, Irish culture than the four-leaf clover. Well, four-leaf clover is really just the holiday, but only in the U.S. Because the shamrock, which is the three-leaves, is what they use in Ireland. There weren't too many shamrock decorations when we did Irish stuff, though. No. <laughs> no, it's like, 
well, dance and then go home. It wasn't a costume party. <laughs> it was dance class and it was actually really fun. Oh yeah, it was a nice discipline to learn, I think. Mm-hmm. And, um... Then you get to watch the video of your recital and you're like, I did that. If you do get really good at it, you could do, uh, feshes and competitions, but... I, you know, I'm not, I'm not huge into, um, I'm not very, uh... I am competitive, but I'm bad, so I try not to compete. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, I don't really win the stuff I compete in, but I have fun. And I try my best, and I, I practice, so. <laughs> That's all that matters is that you try your best. Oh, yeah. You know what? As long as... See, I'm not competing. I had fun doing that. Learning was fun. Yeah, like, the thing is, as long as you, like... If you fail because you didn't try at all, you can't really be upset. <laughs> if you try your best and you, like, still fail, you can be proud of yourself. Yeah, because at least, you know, you went for it. Soda is such a good treat. I don't like this is like sugar free soda, oh, but I still is, don't like to drink it a lot. Yeah, this uh this has stevia instead of sugar, which is nice. And stevia is like a green leaf, and they take the sweetness out of it using science. Although the leaf dried and ground up is pretty sweet on its own. But this is sweeter. <laughs> Ooh. You gotta be careful. Mm-hmm. So, for St. Patrick's Day, I found out why we wear green. Why? To represent spring. That kind of makes sense. It's towards the end like of Like the a... rebirth, yeah. Yeah. Just gonna slather that in clotted cream. Delicious. It's just unroasted cashews and water blended. I don't know. Just adds a little. Um, oh, I'm just selling the um, camera so the kids know what they're eating. Yeah, it just adds a little uh, uh, je ne sais quoi to the treat. Very tasty, yes. I don't know any Gaelic, so French will have to do. <laughs> Gaelic is the uh, language that they spoke in Ireland before um, the English took over for a little bit and forced them to learn English. And then the English were like, years later, of course, no one, like, of course, like, they realized that they can't really just enslave a country, and that's not very nice. Even if technically Ireland took St. Patrick first. So, um, now everyone's free in Ireland, but they still speak English, because I guess they just choose to at this point, just to keep speaking English. Some of them learn Gaelic in school for fun, but mostly Gaelic is a dead language like Latin, like, no countries really speak that anymore. Like Cornish. Well, what, what country is that language from? Cornwall in uh, England. They oh. used to be in their own province. Again, England took over. <laughs> mm. Now the Irish people are free to drink lemon and lime soda. Although they do drink other stuff there. Just quite popular. Like how we like Coca-Cola, but not everyone drinks Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. And people who do drink Coca-Cola can drink other things. I like water. What do you mean they can drink other things? Yeah, they can drink other things, yep. Oh, good. Okay, good. I was worried about them for a minute. Mm -hmm. Drink whatever soda you want. But not too much soda, because it's not really good for your stomach lining to have too much carbonation. It's good to give your body, like, breaks. That's why I only have it like once, twice a week at the most. I drink a lot of like hot tea, but even that I don't drink every day. Sometimes I'll drink chamomile before bed. I like mint tea before bed. Mint tea. Oh, very good. The back to I have, yeah, because I was I was looking up like good drinks for like uh, the St. Patrick's Day video, and they all like required mint, and I'm like, ooh. Mint tea would have been good with this, actually. Well, I didn't get mint tea, Gabby. I got soda, but thank you for your input. <laughs> very, I'm just saying, very at home, if you have mint tea instead of lemon-lime soda, it'd also be nice. Could be nice. 
But this is still if good. you like get an adult to boil the water for you would be really good. Well, yeah. No one's gonna. You shouldn't turn the stove on by yourself. Sometimes you need help. Yeah, it's okay to ask for help if you need help. Don't like if you're unsure of something. Like it might not be safe for you to do it by yourself. But back to St. Patrick's Day. I actually um remember in school also like uh, we would take paper and like cut out little shapes of other people and glue it to make like a collage. And I think we did that for St. Patrick's Day once. I just did a bunch of different things of green. It looked really pretty. That's like a good memory I have from when I was like seven. A couple of decades ago. Well, not a couple of decades. <laughs> no, not that old, like two decades ago. <laughs> good times. And if you're like homeschooled, they also have like paper there normally, unless you didn't buy any. <laughs> So you can just feel free to do an art project for St. Patrick's Day on your own. You don't have to, like, do it just because a teacher told you. You can just have fun on your own, and it's good to get creative and celebrate different holidays. And maybe you can hang it on the fridge or just, like, in your room. Yeah. Or even just keep it under your bed for, like, a secret, like, thing only you know about, like, a St. Patrick's Day photo. Yeah, like, make your own little scrapbook. Yeah, like, little art. And then show it to people when they ask politely. Be like, yeah, I mean, you want to see my paintings here? Well, I guess they'd be collages. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys had a fun time watching this video mm -hmm. and learning about St. Patrick's and who he was a little bit. Basically, just someone who um, escaped slavery and spread Christianity. Yeah. And you learned why we're drinking soda today. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.